What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to talk about Gail Weathers this time around as it pertains to Scream 5. So Gail Weathers, if I'm not mistaken, her chance came in Scream 2, but it never came after that. She's never had a conversation on the phone with Ghostface. She's had a tremendous chase sequence with Ghostface in Scream 2, but never an actual phone conversation because Randy got tired of her phone ringing and snatched it up. And Randy was the one talking to Gail Weathers. So who know, who knows what would have happened if Gail had answered that phone? I'm dying to have a conversation between her and Ghostface. Now, what I just wanted to talk about was if she'll have a conversation with Ghostface in Screen 5. Now, knowing that Matt Benelli and Tyler Gillette are fans of the franchise, I'm assuming that they have paid close attention to some of the things that, that have already happened and things that haven't happened that they could potentially explore explore in screen five as first evers for the franchise that many people might not notice but us diehard fans would and i think this would be one thing that would be very important and very meaningful and you know exciting for a diehard fan who studies scream has seen scream one through four multiple times you aren't a master as far as knowledge on it because i feel like Every time I watch this movie, I'm learning something new or just noticing something different. All of the films, I'm noticing something different in all of them. But going back to Gail Weathers, her getting a phone call in this in this film would be exciting to see for like a first time ever since the franchise's inception. You know, your time came in the sequel, but your friend took that from you. But now you're going to get this right now. I would love to see this happen during a not to say this would happen i don't even i don't know if this could be even pulled off effectively if they did it like this i would love to see it happen during a like live televised feed of what she's doing now maybe she's like again like on a one of those uh sit, not sitcom shows but one of those good morning like america shows something like that or on her own podcast or something that she or she has her own show maybe that she has that she has televised uh, on a cable network somewhere and she's back in the mainstream media covering her stuff doing what she does best and then now of course the ghost face killing spree her claim to fame back in the 90s she's definitely going to take advantage of it i would love to see a phone call happen during one of her shows where she is getting a phone call from Ghostface and it's regarding Dewey and his untimely death or his unfortunate death or Dewey's injuries that have occurred and she has like just some down spiral moment on on screen because with the way they talk they make it seem as if Dewey is dead once again uh the other thing I want to add to that just to go go off not necessarily completely off topic but I would love if they actually convinced us for like emphatically that Dewey is dead like to the best they've ever done since the franchise's inception but then he's not now when I say that I know that would be tired it's cliched and it's just like okay that formula is getting stale but I'm saying like do it in a manner in which it is done to such amazing heights that you are as the audience convinced that Dewey has died but then of course it's revealed he's alive I wouldn't I wouldn't mind it I wouldn't mind it I wouldn't be surprised if it happened I mean it's happened in Scream 2 it happened in Scream 1 it didn't happen in Scream 3 they more so teased you that that knife was going to just go in his head but it just, it just was the butt but I would like to see Gail Weathers get a phone call from Ghostface and just see her sass on display during that phone call just see her confidence on display during that phone call and I would like to have Ghostface just let her have it at the end of it while she's just going off on him and telling her or telling him how they're going to catch him they're not going to get away with this and maybe thanking him for how famous she he helped make her I, I could see her just giving a comment like that and just being you like arrogant and kind of just relishing in her confidence and her success that is in part to the Ghostface killing sprees and just giving like some type of snarky remarks to him and he's laughing it up enjoying it and kind of giving his own snarky remarks back and then they just end it with well you know is that why Dewey is XYZ dead injured in the hospital and then she has a she has a um, moment of snap back into reality there even though you may not be with Dewey anymore I know you still care about him and then she has a downward spiral on live television it doesn't have to be on live television again I'm just saying i wouldn't mind seeing it on one of her live broadcasts whether that be her on her own podcast or on her own television that's on a cable network i think that would be a very 
humorous scene, equally terrifying, and just fun scene for Gail Weathers herself to be on your own show with the entity or the masked killer that has kind of paved the way, so to speak, and been a big reason behind a lot of your career successes that came after that original Ghostface Killing Spree with the movie and the movie that was based off of the book that you wrote and the fact that you yourself were involved in taking down the people behind those costumes in the original Killing Spree, second, third, fourth. Like it would just be a very exciting thing to see and to have Ghostface make comments like that about how they're responsible for her success and having Gail just relish in it and just be overly arrogant and give her snarky remarks and give her I guess tabloid twitty comments, tabloid twit comments <laughs> back at him over the phone. I think that scene would be just amazing to watch unfold. And Courtney Cox, she plays the character so well. I can't wait to see her tap back into her more ruder aspects of the character, I'll say. Hopefully she's not completely and what I and what I know fans will understand about the character, you know Gail isn't a complete uh rude person you know she's not you know she has a good heart we've seen it but she is tapped back into this because of the breakup that we're presuming she has had with dewey and the fallout that she's had with dewey and so she's back on her bs essentially she hasn't lost her sense of having heart but she's more so tapped back into what made her a force to be reckoned with back when it was just her and she didn't have to worry about love and marriage and having a husband who she feels doesn't really support her, et cetera, et cetera. I would love to find out what happened to them over the past 10 years. I would love to know that. I'm sure we will find out what happened to them if they are, in fact, not together anymore. But do you think Gail Weathers should get a phone call in Screen 5? How do you think that would play out? Do you think it will play out the way I've described? Do you think that would be an exciting thing to watch unfold, even on a live broadcast, like a television show that she has for herself or her own podcast? Or do you think she won't get a phone call and it'll just be a thing that they overlook? Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications to that numerous video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. I'll leave a link down to the Facebook group down in the comment section. Join that and talk about horror movies with all of us. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.